everybody, it's your boy Secret Grant here, and it's about that time, man. It's time to take a look at one of my, um, un one of those underrated shows that I actually really like to see. So, this is Final Space, created by YouTube, um, pretty much one of the, pretty much one of your typical YouTubers. But he's not no typical YouTuber. This guy's been a convenient, an off the he's been all over the place, man. This guy is Olin Rogers. This guy was able to get in touch with Con Conan O'Brien to get this show off the ground. In fact, funnily enough, this show actually started off as nothing more than something called Gary space back during the day but the fact is that he made it to a full pilot and the fact it got picked up by Conan O'Brien himself and like they, he in fact Conan O'Brien was the reason this show got him off the ground man because he was an executive producer and he got to voice one of the characters in the show because he actually was his uh, the con artist Clarence in the show and that's how it says in the credits but the fact is that this that this whole show was essentially based on Owen Rogers' work on YouTube, it's just fascinating. Well, for the first season, that is because, you know, um, the main character is Gary Goodsby. Um, his video audio logs, because he actually got under a house arrest for basically just trashing a Mexican eatery. Holy crap. But, um, yeah, he really went off the ball. Like, Owen Rogers went ahead and made when this like, made his dream a reality, but only half of it, because by 2022, the show got canceled. Like, that whole Disney the whole Warner Brothers discovery merger ruined the whole damn thing. We were only halfway through the f we were only halfway through the show itself. The first three seasons were released, and I just can't believe that this was how I personally feel. Okay, so here's how I personally feel: the show had potential. It was building up. Season one was you know every trial and error guy I think. Season two actually took the feedback from season one and ramped it up. Season two was a was my personal was definitely first play but season three cranked it up a notch but yeah season two would have been my in between because well <laughs> you believe the cast of characters because that gary met along the way along with his helper bot <laughs> on cue because come on man and then you would have kevin like willie says kvn um says that then i'm back and you know, <laughs> gary's like oh hell no you're supposed to be dead that's the funny way about season two of the show. What's the fact is that Gary did not want to deal with Kevin. He was like, well, he was like, he was in Kevin. Dad, damn it. Um, one of the fan favorites was Tribor Menendez, who was actually, you know, also part of the, um, I think of the whole guards thing, like the whole, like the police thing. I don't know, man. It's been a while since I've done this show, but I do know that he did a resistance thing to try to, you know, save Gary and Quinn. Yeah, Quinn, um, ends up getting a future counterpart who's trying to save Gary on multiple occasions and in season 3 it turns out all those attempts ended up in a bunch of Gary zombies. It's just crazy that we went from simply um, Gary getting um, under, ship, under spaceship with like, little house arrest to basically all these intergalactic adventures around the world to come across various villains like one of the season 1 supposed to be the dark with the Lord Commander who used to work with um, Gary's dad uh, John Goodspeed who was voiced by Ron Perlman man they got Ron Perlman in this bitch. I mean, they even got one of the Titans, Bolo, voiced by Keith David. Like, he's voicing Husker um, in um, Hasbro Hotel, but before that, he basically voiced Bolo in this show. Goddamn. But um, another thing was that they got Ashley Birch, who was involved with, rep, um, with I think, um, she did the Hey Ash, What You Playing series on YouTube. She also did many shows. She voiced Alloy for Horizon, for the Horizon series. She even went as far as to be a part of Glitch Text, but now she's actually voicing you know, Ash, Gavin, in their show, and yeah, with Powers, we got more and more cast members, we got Fox, we got pretty much Biscuit, in fact, Owen Rogers voiced the four characters, we got Gary Speed, the main character, we got Mooncake, because Mooncake is, Mooncake is goaded, what you expect, um, he voiced the Tribor, because he's the fan favorite, and he voiced it a, pretty much a character created for the show to be pretty much, um, us, in the fan's perspective, because, uh, it's really, really good that they really take the feedback from the fans and the audiences and actually implement it into the story of the whole thing. But sadly, this show got canceled, and what's worse, it got written. It was a tax write-off. It sucked, meaning that you could not find it anywhere else if you're lucky enough to even record all 36 episodes completely. If it's lucky, then we're lucky to have it as pretty much another hidden gem. Mostly, but here's the thing. A 400-page graphic novel called Final Faith and All Chapel is going to get released um, later this year. Meaning we're finally going to the conclusion to the show. That's basically the other three seasons, and I'm hoping to see it through. Looking forward to it. And well, that's all I got to say about this show. See you all in the next one.